Hello Vinyl Community, this is Randy. I'm here with video number five. This is part three in a series in which I am showing every single seven and single that I own. So part one was the mid 60s to about the mid 70s. Those were records I got when I was a kid. Part two was uh, maybe like the late 70s to the early 90s or something. This is part three. These are going to be records that I've gotten in the 21st century. So here we go. Seven inch singles. Flaming Lips. The Yeah Yeah Song. And Why Does It End? This is a picture disc, obviously. I don't have many picture discs, but I do have this one. Pull that out. Yeah. Here is Oh Well by Fleetwood Mac. Oh Well Parts 1 and 2 on Reprise Records. This came in the box set that was the four Fleetwood Mac albums from 69 to 72. So that's Peter Green singing, playing on, playing guitar on that one. Uh, here is the Kings of Leon, Sex on Fire. I think this was their big hit, wasn't it? Flip side is Beneath the Surface. I think it's just on standard black vinyl with a red label. <clears throat> the Hives. Band that was very popular there in the Early part of the 21st century. Tick, tick, boom is the name of the song. Flip side is square one. <clears throat> square one, here I come. Cool label. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. Hives. <clears throat> Ray, La Ray La Montaigne. Ray La Montaigne. Supernova. Learned about this one from the vinyl community. Matt Sands talked about Ray LaMontagne, so I got this record. It's fantastic. I've downloaded a couple of his albums. I enjoy them. I haven't actually gotten any vinyl yet. Here's a black flag. This is one that I actually just got a couple months ago. I think I ordered it directly from SST Records because I was browsing their website for some reason, and uh, I'd never gotten this one. Uh, back in the day... Um, yeah, Nervous Breakdown. Uh, what can I say about that? Yeah, it expresses my feeling quite perfectly sometimes. About to have a nervous breakdown. My head really hurts. If I don't find a way out of here, I'm going to go berserk. <clears throat> Not too often, I hope. Uh, <laughs> Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. Marlon Brando's outfit <clears throat> from the wild one. Remember that? His leather jacket. Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. This is a, I think they're a California band. I'm not really sure when this came out. It's a two record set. <clears throat> Whatever Happened to My Rock and Roll, TV Loop, Head Up High, and Fell Safe are the names of the songs. Custom label there. Straight Ahead Rock and Roll, I think. Uh, here is a band that is called Dark Meat. I'm not going to show you the other side of this cover because it could be construed as being a little bit offensive. Uh, it's on pink vinyl. Uh, side A and B labels are pretty much the same. It comes with an OB strip. Uh, so, yeah. When the shelter came, the flip side is Faint Smell of Moss. Dark Meat, a very, uh, I guess you call them avant garde band from the early part of the 21st century. I, uh, yeah, they were yeah, interesting. I kind of compared them to maybe like a Akron family or maybe like Black Mountain or bands like that. Be Your Own Pet, Electric Shake. This was a Nashville area band. I uh, really have not listened to this too much. It's on red vinyl, though. I should listen to that sometime. Uh, Electric Shake on sides one and two. I don't know. Maybe this was a promotional record or something. I'm not sure how I got that. Uh, the Safaris, Wipeout. Great cover, huh? This is a Record Store Day. Record Store Day reissue. Look at those kids. Oh, they're in junior high school. Uh, this is on Dot Records. It's on red vinyl and 
It's on Dot Records. I I love that Dot Records label. I like that yellow, red, and blue. Um, Wipeout. Another reason I like this one a lot is I can play along with it. It's my one song that I can play on guitar. Sort of. I can play the first part of it anyway. It's real cool. Oh, yeah, but it's a surprise. Uh, I Love My Dog by Cat Stevens. I think maybe he hadn't had a hit for a while, and his manager probably said, Hey, if you write a song about your dog, there's going to be a lot of suckers out there who will buy it just unthinkingly. Which I did. I think it's a good song. I love Cat Stevens. Uh, the cold folder, uh, the cover folds out. Uh, it's on Third Man Records. Great label there. Oh, yeah. Third Man, it's a Blue Room Sessions. What does that mean? I'm, I'm not sure what that means exactly. The Raining Sound, if Christmas Can't Bring You Home. I love The Raining Sound, one of my favorite current bands. That I, I think they're still playing. I, I think their last album was Shattered. I haven't heard anything from them since. Probably just, It's mostly really just Greg Cartwright, I think, the main guy. Uh, if Christmas Can't Bring You Home, back with uh, That's All I Want and Jingle Bell Rock Live. This obviously is an homage to the birds. Um, one of my all-time favorite albums that I uh, can't think of the name of it right now. The Great Birds album, though, and if I think of the name before this video is over, I will transmit that to you. But <clears throat> Good cover. Uh, Cabin Essence by the Beach Boys. Looks like this was from the forthcoming Capital release, The Smile Sessions. I think they put out, maybe, was it like a two-record set of The Smile Sessions? It's on yellow vinyl Brother Records. Mm. Pictures of the band there. Um, yeah, the Beach Boys. A lot of people familiar with that band, I think. Uh, here's a Brian Wilson single. This one's kind of interesting. The, the writing is actually on the plastic here. Uh, this is wonderful. Uh, backed with wind chimes. Hmm. Mustdestroymusic.com Made in England. It looks like I got that somewhere. Arctic Monkeys, Stop the World in 2013. This must have come in one of their records, one of their albums. Uh, Big Star. Feel, an alternate mix from the first album, and Mod Lang, an unissued single mix. This is Rhino Records. Looks like it was issued in 2009. Ardent. Eleven Spoonful. I think this was, this was on Sunday's records. I think this may have been a record store day record. It's, it's mono record. <clears throat> Night Owl Blues and Alley Oop. I got this mostly just because I'm a, a big fan of the Eleven Spoonful. I like John Sebastian. On Kama Sutra Records. Cool label. I really like John Sebastian in uh, the Woodstock movie. He came out there with just his guitar and Saying for everybody. <clears throat> kind of like Richie Havens, I think, in the same movie. Bob Dylan. Most likely you go your way and I'll go mine. This is a Mark Ronson remix. Side B is the original version. This came out when Dylan put out that 4CD box set. I believe it's when it came out, that 4CD box set. Retrospective. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything... Uh, oh, well, it is it's a pretty cool label. A and B sides. Uh, okay. The Living Things. The Bomb Bomb song. Bomb Bomb Bomb. I, uh, this was a band I was listening to in the early to mid-2000s. Their first album was really good, and the second one I think was pretty good. Got them both on CDs because this was during that period, you know, when it was just hard to find a lot of things on vinyl. Uh, 
this actually says for promotional use only. I don't know if this was the record store was giving this away or. Uh, but anyway, Living Things. I haven't listened to them for a while, but they were they were good, really good, just straight ahead rock and roll. I think. Um, Brian Wilson, What I Really Want for Christmas. Uh, B side is We Wish You a Merry Christmas, and there's Brian's Christmas message on here. White vinyl. Oh, here it is. White vinyl. Uh, Foo Fighters, Best of You. That's coming in a record or something. I, I've never really been a Foo Fighters fan. I don't dislike them. I just haven't listened to them, and I, I don't know if this was a promotional giveaway or something. Or uh, I did actually get this album, uh, in your honor. I think it was on vinyl. I think maybe the reason I got it was because it was on vinyl and you could find so few new vinyl records at that time that I just got it. Uh, here is the Turtles, Eleanor. It's on Whitewell Records. It looks like it could be from an original. Uh, evidently, it has a, I guess I shouldn't really show this guy's Dress. Evidently, belonged to a guy named Frank Garcia. I must have gotten it used somewhere. Uh, yeah, Eleanor. I love the turtles. <clears throat> I I had this record. I'm sure I had this record when I was a kid. But the the flip side was not Surfer Dan. It was Buzzsaw, which is a song that is from the album, the Battle of the Bands album, which this which uh, Eleanor came from, but uh, so it's not on there. Uh, here's the record that the Beatles included in the Let It Be Naked album. Custom label there, no Apple label on that. Okay. <clears throat> Here are some that I have uh, multiple records by uh, the same band, so Dr. Dog, Control Yourself. I saw a video just the other day where somebody showed this one. Uh, I think they came in different colors. I think his was pink. This one is brown. Flip side is Warrior Man. That's, it just is, it's not like a real cover. It just folds out. Uh, yeah. I have another Dr. Dog record here called Goner. <clears throat> I'm a pretty big Dr. Dog fan. That's another one of the current bands that I believe they're still playing that I like a lot. I've seen them a couple times. Uh, custom label on that one. More Dr. Dog here. This is a two band single. So it's the M's and Dr. Dog on side B. So it's Me and My Girl by Dr. Dog and uh, <clears throat> Al Thomas and the Robot by the Ends. A good idea to have two bands on one record. I guess that means that fans of one band can uh, pick up fans that are part of the other band. Uh, here's Dr. Dog, Humble Passenger, parts one and two. I think this was probably included in a record. Sure, which album I, I think I have all their albums. Uh, Don't Stop Loving Me Now, Dr. Dog. Okay, this is the one where uh, this is another two band, two single record. This was written, written, the song was written by Floating Action, Don't Stop Loving Me Now, but Dr. Dog is performing it. And on the B side, <clears throat> the Floating Action performs The Breeze. Dr. Dog song. So, yeah, once again, sort of, I guess they're helping each other out. Uh, <clears throat> Kings of Leon, on call. I'm a big Kings of Leon fan, too. Another, as far as I know, they're still playing. I didn't get their last album. It's called Walls, but I think I have all the ones before that. <clears throat> Strokes, 1251. 
Side B is the way it is. This on RCA. Custom label. Strokes. Uh, for some reason, I got this record again. 1251. This is on Rough Trade. It's the same A and B side. Uh, one of them maybe was promotional or maybe I got this one because it's on red vinyl. Strokes, uh, juice box, includes the exclusive B-side, Hawaii, great cover, huh? I love the Strokes. Once again, another band that, are, I mean, are they still playing? It's been a while since they've had a, a record out. Uh, I do, I do like the Strokes, isn't that a great label? Big Strokes fan. Jack White, Fly Farm Blues. Uh, it Might Get Loud is the B-side. Mm. Uh, Jolene. And Side B is Do. These are both live from Live Under Black Cool Lights. <clears throat> so it's just Jack and Meg. Uh, I guess I should say it's the White Stripes. Jolene is the name of the song. Oh, this is interesting because I bought this, and, you know, because it shows Meg on the front. And the name of the song is Jolene, which I think is a Dolly Parton song. I figured it was going to be Meg singing it, but it's not. It's Jack White. <clears throat> Jack White sings. Uh, Sixteen Saltines. Love is a Blindness. Uh, this is a Jack White single. I think these were from the album. Uh, what's the name of the album? Anyway, it does say uh, recorded in uh, studios at Third Man Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Third Man Studios. I see that one Sunday each month when I did deliver uh, stale bread from the Publix supermarket to... Room at the Inn, the homeless shelter there. Third Man Records is right next door to Room at the Inn here in Nashville. Uh, <clears throat> Icky Thump, White Stripes, custom label. Uh, Lazaretto, Power of My Love. Once again, Jack White. Third Man record labels are really cool. Really cool labels. Jack White, I think, likes the whole record production business. Well, thank you, Jack White. Uh, <clears throat> Steady as she goes and calls it Call It a Day by the Raconteurs. Jack White's band after White Stripes and before the Dead Weather. Red label. <clears throat> Steady as she goes with a different B-side, Store Bought Bones. I don't know why I got that twice, but I guess I wanted the I guess I wanted the B-side. Black label on that one. Hmm. Okay. Uh here's the last one. White stripes. This is a picture disc. I I think it must be Icky Thump. I can't find any writing on here to even tell me what the songs are. Anyway, that's it. Those are uh, all the 21st century singles. So uh, part three of three. I've actually just remembered. <clears throat> I'm going to add on a part four because I have a bunch of singles here that uh, came in like box sets and stuff like that. So some Small Faces singles and uh, some Pink Floyd singles, I think. So I'll do another video that will be coming up shortly. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.